Hello. Hi. How are you doing, James? I am looking for a man who speaks Chinese. Do you know a place where sailors hang out? <laughs> Billy. What up, yo? Ralph. Ralph. <laughs> Ralph. For a while, I was like, is there like a tiny dog somewhere outside her house? Ralph. Ralph. Or someone named Ralph. Hey, Ralph. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Ishii. Hello. Hi, Billy. Alex. Hi, Alex. Hello. Oh, there's an Alex. Hello, Alex. Some people believe he exists. <laughs> <laughs> Not him, though. Those people get the Alex. It was agonizing and horrible, but I really liked it. Amazing. He's got them in his butt. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm late, dudes. Hello. Okay. Well, we're all here, so uh, we'll just jump in. Haas would like to attend to Hootie with his medical prowess. Haas is almost totally nude at this point, so he'll have to... <laughs> Settle for tearing some of Moth's clothing as a <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pardon me, String Bean. <laughs> he, his eyes linger on Girder for a second, and then he just says, Hoot. There, there, Hooty. You rest now. Where just... Dan is peering around the cavern, looking for any more stalactites or stalagmites that look suspicious. For Dan, um, maybe we should get the hell out of here. I can't help but want to peer around the, the final corner. It's worth a peek. And, and what do you think might be there? Uh, uh, I don't know. Pitch, you begin moving around the corner. You see these sensor antennae at the front of this small dog-sized, multi-layered chitinous shell bug creature that just comes around the corner. And it looks like as you've made it here, it's antenna just started to twitch and now it's looked up and has seen you and looks like it's about to start moving towards you i dash back to the party and i tell them now's a good time to leave (laughs) (laughs) roll for initiative i'm gonna show to brudan that he should pass me the immovable rod so i can affix it to the other side of the cavern as these creatures come piling in ibrahim actually you look up and down the hall you see another one come around the corner and uh, turn and rush towards you. There's three of these creatures now just stacked up trying to get at you. And with that, I'll get everybody else to roll their initiatives. Okay, Pitch, it's your turn. I throw out some magical daggers from my wrists. The dagger plunges into its chitinous shell. The creature stops moving and falls down dead. Haas, it's your turn. Haas's intention is to scoop up Hootie and evacuate this a ways. I'll go smashy smash on one of them. The head of your Warhammer is now beginning to corrode and turn yellow. Is that forever? Yeah, I'm going to have to try and bolt out of there. I am not in good shape. As you run away, one of them is going to try to bite at you. Okay, I'm quite dead. The other one is going to whip its antennae at you. Verdan, it's your turn. Attack. So you drive the spear between some plates on its shell. You hear it squeal in agony in response. It is bloodied. Okay, I'm attacking again. Just misses, unfortunately. That is my turn. Girder, you're up. You know that these creatures are referred to as rust monsters. And they do... Rust monsters. I form the devil horns with my hand, point it into the cave, and pop web. You know, like silly string up this like the corridor. They're also flammable. If anyone gets any ideas, mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 in the distance, you all hear a sound. <laughs> Pitch, it's your turn. I'm going to walk down the wall and pour a potion of healing into Ibrahim's face. Oh, thank you. So, Ibrahim, those creatures are tickling you with their strange long antennae, but more worryingly, the lower half of your armor is beginning to disintegrate and fall apart, chain link by chain link, as their antennae stroke across you. Ibrahim, you faint one or two of their attacks and get out of the way and just go barreling through your comrades towards that cliff. Leave me, <laughs> Superman! Burdan, let's get the hell out of here! Burdan, you're now alone facing two of these creatures. It's your turn. Okay, I'm going to stay and kill them. You hit! Six damage. That's it for my turn. 
Um, I'm going to, uh, um, I'm going to get my tippy toes on the edge of the cliff dramatically. I'm going to prepare to leap from the cliff's edge for when the fireball goes off. Okay. Sick. Yeah, I'll take a run backwards. You glance behind you and see Moth concentrating with this crackling energy gathering all around, blowing his hair back. Moth, he clears the area. Moth lets the last word of the spell loose. Half facts! I'm going to have it detonate. This explosion fills the cave Holy and shit. absolutely obliterates the two <laughs> uh, rust monsters that you can see. It scatters the ashes of the dark mantle. A few wispy edges of squid come flying down around the rest of you. A noxious scent pervades this cavern, and uh, an inquisitive voice calls out, Gurataka! And the sounds of footsteps. <laughs> Girder, the explosion's gone off. Jump off the cliff. Sweet. Jerry Brockheimer. Breathing heavily, wrist wiping sweat from his face. And I kind of turn and look, acknowledge Ibrahim like, I waited for you to get out of the way, right? Then he's going to make his way down that cliff face as well. That makes it Haas's turn. Haas is just going to shoulder Hootie and launch off the edge of the cliff with the gang. Ibrahim? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Perfect pitch out of the corner of your eye you see earth being disturbed i've heard bad things about that a hole begins to appear crawling out of the hole fuck bad a large creature imagine if a beetle and a gorilla were crossed with each other this cave fucking sucks (laughs) (laughs) okay and as i run past Burdan, i say move faster you know when you realize that you're way out of level for a zone Burdan, you look up Right above you, this large bug creature glaring down at you. Its head kind of turns on an angle, and it sees just you down there. It lets out this roar. <laughs> it's Gerder's turn. Gerder's going to channel Sean Aston from the Goonies. Somebody help me, and then kind of like stick his butt out so as to resemble like a basketball, and like covers his eyes. <laughs> Moth, I believe it's your turn. Oh, Jesus. His eyes center on you. Chet. Ibrahim, did I hear you correctly? You're tying it around your waist? Well, that's pretty Dude, heroic. That's so fucking heroic. Ibrahim's yeah. probably the heftiest fellow in the party. Yeah. He could support so each of that. us individually. Speaking of heroic, Berdan, it's your turn. I do need you to make a DC 15 charisma saving throw. Does it have zombie what? eyes? Goo 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 eyes? You shake it off. So I have a question about the egg on my spear. Yes. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's crit activated, isn't it? The last <laughs> time that you used this, you let it fly, and the egg came off. That was the day we met Abraham. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's right. Uh wonder if that thing is still out there in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> well, James, so yes. when I'm getting a, a look at this guy, he's six to seven feet tall, you said. So he's about a little bit. He's bigger than me. Yeah, he's bigger than you. Look out. Yeah. And, and like his armor is like super chitinous and crazy. Yeah, pretty much. I'm going to let the egg pop off. 
a bolt of electricity arcs down the spear, immediately begins to electrocute him. Lightning courses around him. Quiet returns for a moment. Behind you, you hear a telltale. I will hit him one more time. Mm. Oh, critical. Oh, critical Shit. fumble. Uh, oh, no. Uh, Quick, give him inspiration. Right. Pretty, pretty critical. Ibrahim is an inspiration generating machine. That's true. That's true. <laughs> I have faith. I can That's feel right. when. when there you go. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's yeah, divine yeah, inspiration. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not notice or now we're talking. If Pitch or Moth were in trouble around the corner, but like, you know, someone like Berdan or Gerder, I could probably feel it. <laughs> you the feel? Highest, the highest ones, right? You feel, and you, you know what? Get it's like inspiration a, it's... just for that. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately uh, give him more inspiration. Dan, re-roll that one. Your spear is free. You've used both your attacks, but none of your movement. Okay, I'm moving. That goo's yeah. going to get um, you. The goo is going to slap at you with its pseudopod as you run by. Six bludgeoning and 21 acid damage. Cool. Oh, fuck. And your armor loses one AC. Great. From that vantage point you have there, Berdan... You have distance to see this creature hop down. It looks like it's coming towards you, but as it goes past the black creature, the two creatures become locked in battle. Hell um, yes. You just hear this loud nope. squelching and smashing. I'm going to look Hootie in the eyes. I'll kind of give him a big hug and prepare to do the hand over hand when the opportunity presents itself. I'm down with that. So as soon as the rope is tied off on pitch's end, you're going to start climbing across. Yeah. Moth, your turn. It's all about getting across that rope. I would like to ready Eldritch Blast. And if anything should, should interfere with people crossing that rope, I'm going to attack them. Fire support. Yeah, I got my Wand of War casting out and my other hand in like the finger gun position. All right, Pitch, your turn. I tie the rope. Ibrahim, you feel a tug on your midsection, and as you look out, you see Girder upside down, once again, like sloth style, crawling across this rope with Hootie chilling on his chest, looking around pretty panically at the crazy sounds of battle that are happening around the corner just out of sight. Haas is going to give Ibrahim a good, firm, thankful squeeze on the shoulder in acknowledgement of his extreme bravery <laughs> at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Berdan, it is your turn. Yeah, I'm going to pull out my crossbow and kind of do Ooh. like a little shot around the corner at the Umber Hulk. Looking over at it, make a charisma saving throw for me. You just barely take in the barest sliver of his eye. You just stand there, terrified locked in place and uh with that we will pause here for the evening we'll pick it up next time we play all right great game oh. gg yeah oh, that's boy. super super intense uh this is terrifying yeah. Yeah. Yeah.